In this video, I will show you how to remove any background from your footage using After Effects. So let's bring on the footage here, then drag and drop it here. You need to use a tool called Roto Brush Tool. Select that, double click on your composite, then you go to the layer, then you can just draw around the object that you want to keep. I can see we got an outline and it pretty accurately captures the object. To cover the hairs that are coming out, just to show you, you can use another tool here called Refine Edge Tool and just paint over the area where the hair is. So it understands that the black part is the background and the white part would be the hair. In here, you can see how much of this footage would be analyzed. And also if I go back to Roto Brush Tool, and if you go to the brushes, you can change the sizes of the brush, 12, 10 diameter to get a more refined. So if I press spacebar, it will start to analyze the footage frame by frame and try to take the background out. To extend the Roto Brush Tool effect, drag and drop this thing in here till the frame that you're interested in. And you can see here, this green increases. Bear in mind, it uses a lot of RAM. So if you go to the preview tab, make sure that this is optimized. Also, if you have other lagging issues, you could go to edit, preferences, and previews, and make sure zoom quality and color management quality, both of them are selected as faster. And then click on OK. Also have to mention that if for example accidentally you go out and you can see it has come out of the outline of the object, then you can hold the Alt key, it becomes negative sign and then you draw outside and then you can push it back in. Reduce the brush, zoom in and you can just paint here. So a few other options that you have here is, for example if you press this one, it will show this into black and white, but the outline I think is better. And then if you go to the composition, the background becomes black. And if you want to add your custom background, let's for example go to the layer, new layer, solid. And let's say, let's add an interesting background color. Click on OK. Drag and drop this below it. Before playing, make sure that the rendering is complete and these bars should become green. Also, I have to say that this process uses a lot of RAM. You can see almost 80% of my RAM is used. So, and I have got 24 GB RAM. So you better close all your programs when you're working on Roto Brush Tool. So let's go to the composition. So let's go to the preview and play or press space. You can see the background is now green or any color you want to. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.